powerful Catholic morning prayer for October. Hello friends, it's Joseph and welcome to With Mary, the big family that helps you to pray. Please subscribe now and click on the bell to be sure to receive all of our new prayers and updates. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, thank you for the gift of this new day. Thank you for giving me life, for my family and friends. Thank you for all the blessings and opportunities you've showered upon me, and for opening the doors to freedom and salvation. Father, please forgive me for my mistakes and sins, especially when I fall short in life, in my thoughts, words and actions. So Father, as I start this day, open my heart and my eyes so that I can see you and your power working through my life. Please guide me and help me along the right direction. O oh Lord, don't let your spirit depart from me, and may I not give in to temptation. Fill me with your divine will, and grant me the wisdom and the insights I need to make the right choices. Even when things don't go my way, grant me a joyful attitude this day. Guide me and everyone around me, and keep us safe. Cover our bodies and souls with your precious blood and the mantle of our blessed Mother Mary, Our Lady of the Rosary. Fill me with the happiness and joy of the Spirit and let your will be done in my life today. Amen. Friends, I invite you to write down your prayer requests in the video's comments and we can pray for each other's blessings, peace, hope and joys today. Amen. O oh my God, in union with the Immaculate Heart of Mary, and especially this month, Our Lady of the Rosary, I offer thee the precious body and blood of Jesus from all the altars throughout the world, joining with this Holy Eucharist, the offering of my every thought, word, and action of this day. O oh my Jesus, I desire today to gain every merit I can, and I offer them, together with myself, to Mary Immaculate, that she may best apply them to the interests of thy most sacred heart. Soul of Christ, sanctify me. Body of Christ, save me. Blood of Christ, inebriate me. Water from the side of Christ, wash me. Passion of Christ, strengthen me. O good Jesus, hear me. Within your wounds, hide me. Permit me not to be separated from you. From the wicked foe, defend me. At the hour of my death, call me, and bid me to come to you, that with your saints I may praise you for ever and ever. Amen. Friends, let's give ourselves over to the Father this morning, allowing him to have this day, and as we submit to his divine will, and put our faith in his divine providence, may we seek his peace, joy, and love to fill us. Let us present to him our fears and worries, and we can do this right now in a powerful act of surrender by releasing them for the day. Jesus, I surrender myself to you. Take care of everything. Jesus, I surrender myself to you. Take care of everything. Jesus, I surrender myself to you. Take care of everything. Amen. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Living one day at a time, enjoying one moment at a time, accepting hardships as the pathway to peace, taking as he did this sinful world as it is, not as I would have it, trusting that he will make all things right if I surrender to his will so that I may be reasonably happy in this life and supremely happy with him forever and ever in the next. Amen. An act of faith. O oh my God, I firmly believe that you are one God in three divine persons, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. I believe that your divine Son became man and died for our sins and that he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe these and all the truths 
which the Holy Catholic Church teaches, because you have revealed them who are eternal truth and wisdom, who can neither deceive nor be deceived. In this faith I intend to live and die. Amen. An Act of Hope O Lord God, I hope by your grace for the pardon of all my sins, and after life here to gain eternal happiness, because you have promised it, you are infinitely powerful, faithful, kind, and merciful. In this hope, I intend to live and die. Amen. An Act of Love O Lord God, I love you above all things, and I love my neighbor for your sake, because you are the highest, infinite, and perfect good, worthy of all my love. In this love, I intend to live and die. Amen. This morning, we ask the Holy Spirit to come and to fill us up again, to renew our lives in every way, and to give us the strength and power that can only come from you, Lord. We want to be living disciples who show the love of God all day long. Come see all the things that make up our everyday lives, like our family, our work, our activities and our many projects. Come Holy Spirit to renew, enliven and refresh tired hearts and bodies and to give those who need it new life, new joy and new hope. Amen. Friends, in January 1980, John Paul II told a charismatic renewal group, I learned to pray to the Holy Spirit since I was a child. When I was 11, I was depressed because I was struggling with maths. My father showed me the hymn Veni Creator Spiritus in a small book and told me, Pray this and you'll see that he'll help you understand. For more than 40 years, I've been praying this hymn every day and I've seen how much the Divine Spirit aids us. So friends, in union with St. John Paul II, let us pray together asking the Holy Spirit to help us, to inspire us, and to guide us this day. Amen. Come Holy Spirit, Creator blessed, and in our souls take up thy rest. Come with thy grace and heavenly aid to fill the hearts which thou hast made. O Comforter, to thee we cry, O heavenly gift of God most high, O fount of life and fire of love, and sweet anointing from above. Thou in thy sevenfold gifts are known, Thou finger of God's hand we own. Thou promise of the Father, Thou who dost the tongue with power imbue. Kindle our sense from above, And make our hearts o'erflow with love. With patience firm and virtue high, The weakness of our flesh supply. Far from us drive the foe we dread, And grant us thy peace instead. So shall we not, with thee for guide, Turn from the path of life aside. O oh, may thy grace on us bestow, the Father and the Son to know, and thee through endless times confessed, of both the eternal Spirit blessed. Now to the Father and the Son, who rose from death, be glory given, and thou, O holy Comforter, henceforth by all in earth and heaven. Amen. Lord, we consecrate this day to Mary, our Lady of the Rosary and our Mother. May her grace lead us in ways that reflect her unending love and compassion in our thoughts, deeds and words. May her intercession draw us closer to the heart of Jesus as we travel throughout this day. May she light our paths with the light of faith and may we learn to embrace humility, kindness and unwavering devotion to God's will from her example. Mary, our blessed and beloved Mother, pray for us. Amen. I, a faithless sinner, renew and ratify today in thy hands, O Immaculate Mother, the vows of my baptism. I renounce forever Satan, his pomps and works, and I give myself entirely to Jesus Christ, the incarnate wisdom, to carry my cross after him all the days of my life, and to be more faithful to him than I have ever been before. In the presence of the heavenly court, 
I choose thee this day for my mother and mistress. I deliver and consecrate to thee as thy slave, my body and soul, my goods both interior and exterior, and even the value of all my good actions, past, present, and future, leaving to thee the entire and full right of disposing of me and all that belongs to me without exception, according to thy good pleasure, for the greater glory of God, in time and in eternity. Amen. Father, on this new day, we ask that you come and cover us with your peace, the peace that can only come from you, a peace that the world cannot give. We thank you for our lives and for your abundant mercy, grace, and faithfulness, even if we are not as faithful to you. We ask you, Lord, to grant us peace of mind, body, soul, and spirit. We want you to heal and remove everything in our lives that is causing stress, grief, and sorrow. Please direct our paths this day. Allow your peace to reign in our home, our workplace, and everything we touch. Allow your angels of peace to go ahead of us when we go out and stay by our side when we return. Amen. St. Francis of Assisi, we ask for your intercession in this prayer of peace. Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. Where there is hatred, let me sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. Where there is sadness, joy. O Divine Master, grant that I may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love with all my soul. For it is in giving that we receive, it is in pardoning that we are pardoned, and it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Amen. O Lord, on this morning prayer, with your little flower, Saint Therese of Lisieux, we turn our hearts and minds to you, offering you this simple prayer and reflection. O my God, I offer thee all my actions of this day, for the intentions and for the glory of the sacred heart of Jesus. I desire to sanctify every beat of my heart, my every thought, my simplest works, by uniting them to its infinite merits. I wish to make reparation for my sins by casting them into the furnace of its merciful love. O oh my God, I ask of thee for myself and for those whom I hold dear, the grace to fulfill perfect thy holy will, to accept for love of thee the joys and sorrows of this passing life, so that we may one day be united together in heaven for all eternity. Amen. Saint Therese, pray for us this day. Amen. Lord, as I begin this day, I also pray for your protection over my life. You are my rock and my stronghold, and I can always find refuge under your wings. Keep all evil away from me and my family and my friends, and keep me safe wherever I go. I look to you as my protector, the one who fights for me every day. Your love and faithfulness, as well as your goodness and mercy, surround me on this day, so I have nothing to fear. God, I put my trust in you, and I thank you for your love and protection. I also ask that my holy guardian angel stay by my side, protect me, and guide me in everything I do. Amen. Angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom his love commits me here, ever this day be at my side, to light and guard, to rule and guide. Amen. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. 
This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our Lord, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Friends, the Lorica of St. Patrick, also known as St. Patrick's Breastplate, is a powerful prayer attributed to St. Patrick, the patron saint of Ireland. This ancient prayer is a moving expression of faith that invokes God's protection and strength in all aspects of life. Let us be inspired this morning by St. Patrick's unwavering faith in God's providence and all-encompassing presence as we pray this sacred prayer. And may the Lord keep us safe in all aspects of our lives today. Amen. I bind unto myself today the strong name of the Trinity by invocation of the same, the three in one and one in three. I bind this day to me forever by power of faith, Christ's incarnation, his baptism in the Jordan River, his death on the cross for my salvation, his bursting from the spiced tomb, his riding up the heavenly way, his coming at the day of doom. I bind unto myself today. I bind unto myself the power of the great love of the cherubim, the sweet well done in judgment's hour, the service of the seraphim, confessor's faith, apostle's word, the patriarch's prayers, the prophet's scrolls, all good deeds done unto the Lord, and purity of virgin souls. I bind unto myself today the virtues of the starlit heaven, the glorious sun's life-giving ray, the whiteness of the moon at even, the flashing of the lightning free, the whirling wind's tempestuous shocks, the stable earth, the deep salt sea, around the old eternal rocks. I bind unto myself today the power of God to hold and lead, his eyes to watch, his might to stay, his ear to hearken to my need, the wisdom of my God to teach, his hand to guide, his shield to ward, the word of God to give me speech, his heavenly host to be my guard. Against the demon snares of sin, the vice that gives temptation force, the natural lusts that war within, the hostile men that mar my course, or few of many, far or nigh, in every place and in all hours, against their fierce hostility. I bind to me these holy powers, against all Satan's spells and wiles, against false words of heresy, against the knowledge that defiles, against the heart's idolatry, against the wizard's evil craft, against the death wound and the burning, the choking wave and the poisonous shaft. Protect me, Christ, till thy returning. Christ be with me, Christ within me, Christ behind me, Christ before me, Christ beside me, Christ to win me, Christ to comfort and restore me, Christ beneath me, Christ above me, Christ in quiet, Christ in danger, Christ in hearts of all that love me, Christ in mouth of friend and stranger. I bind unto myself the name, the strong name of the Trinity, by invocation of the same, the three in one, and one in three, of whom all nature hath creation. 
Eternal Father, Spirit, Word, praise to the Lord of my salvation. Salvation is of Christ the Lord. Amen. Give ear to my words, O Lord. Give heed to my sighing. Listen to the sound of my cry, my King and my God, for to you I pray. O Lord, in the morning you hear my voice. In the morning I plead my case to you and watch. For you are not a God who delights in wickedness. Evil will not sojourn with you. The boastful will not stand before your eyes. You hate all evildoers. You destroy those who speak lies. The Lord abhors the bloodthirsty and deceitful. But I, through the abundance of your steadfast love, will enter your house. I will bow down toward your holy temple in awe of you. Lead me, O Lord, in your righteousness because of my enemies. Make your way straight before me. For there is no truth in their mouths. Their hearts are destruction. Their throats are open graves. They flatter with their tongues. Make them bear their guilt, O God. Let them fall by their own counsels. Because of their many transgressions, cast them out, for they have rebelled against you. But let all who take refuge in you rejoice. Let them ever sing for joy. Spread your protection over them, so that those who love your name may exult in you. For you bless the righteous, O Lord. You cover them with favor as with a shield. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. We come to you this morning, O glorious Saint Joseph, worker and protector of the Holy Family, in this month of October. We offer you our prayers for this day. Please bless us and be our guide in all circumstances, whatever they may be. We ask for your guidance and intercession as we seek to fulfill our work with excellence and to grow in faith, hope and virtue. Please watch over our families, our work and our activities. Protect us from all harm and danger and help us to always seek God's will in all we do. We entrust our work and activities to your care and we ask for your intercession for those who seek work or experiencing job insecurity. Please guide and bless us today and every day as we seek to fulfill our God-given vocations. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Saint Joseph, by the work of your hands and the sweat of your brow, you supported Jesus and Mary and had the Son of God as your fellow worker. Teach me to work as you did with patience and perseverance for God and for those whom God has given me to support. Teach me to see in my fellow workers the Christ who desires to be in them, that I may always be charitable and forbearing towards all. Grant me to look upon work with the eyes of faith, so that I shall recognize in it my share in God's own creative activity and in Christ's work of our redemption, and so take pride in it. When it is pleasant and productive, remind me to give thanks to God for it, and when it is burdensome, teach me to offer it to God in reparation for my sins and the sins of the world. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived of the Holy Spirit, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it done unto me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ your Son was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection. Through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Virgin Mary, O Mother of Love, hear our prayers for this day in great union with the saints who we honour this month, especially St. Therese of Lisieux, St. Teresa of Avila, St. Bruno and St. Francis, St. Luke, St. Margaret Mary and St. Faustina, as well as St. John Paul II and our holy guardian angels, and all those known and unknown saints of this month. Friends, I would like to invite you to trust in this decade all the events of this day, personal and familial, meetings, appointments for this day, appointments for our health, our work and our projects, and also the world. We ask Mary, our Blessed Mother, Our Lady of the Rosary, for her help and guide in all of this, since she gave us the powerful weapon of the Rosary. We also entrust the Pope's intentions for this month of October. The Pope's intentions for this month is for a church open to all. Yes, Lord, send your Holy Spirit ahead of time through Mary to bless everything that will happen today. Bless ahead of time all the meetings and important times, clear up any problems, and calm and end any conflicts. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, 
now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. O glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are most in need of thy mercy. Amen. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious Advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us, and after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Almighty and everlasting God, who by the working of the Holy Spirit did prepare both body and soul of the glorious Virgin Mother Mary, that she might deserve to be made a worthy dwelling for thy Son. Grant that we who rejoice in her memory may by her loving intercession be delivered from present evils and from lasting death through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that any one who fled to thy protection implored thy help or sought thine intercession was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, I fly unto thee, O Virgin of virgins, my mother. To thee do I come, before thee I stand sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not my petitions, but in thy mercy hear and answer me. Amen. Holy Michael, the Archangel, defend us in this day of battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and the snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast down to hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl around the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Praise God, from whom all blessings flow. Praise him, all creatures here below. Praise him above, you heavenly host. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Amen. Thank you, Father, for this time with you in this morning prayer, for everything you have done in my life and will do today. Even when I am unfaithful, you are faithful. Even when I fall short, you pursue me with your love. Your presence in my life transforms everything, empowering me to live each moment of each day with the assurance that you are in control. Lord, with the intercession of all the angels and saints, especially those of this month, remind me to always praise you, regardless of today's circumstances. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. If you enjoyed this powerful Catholic morning prayer for October, then please like this video and share this morning prayer with all those around you. To thank you for participating, I want to offer you my free ebook, The Five Essential Keys to Effective Prayer. To download it, please click on the link that appears at the end of the video or in the comments below. I pray that the love of Jesus transforms you and blesses you in abundance today and that filled afresh with his Holy Spirit, you will be a shining light to those around you. I pray particularly the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary upon you for this month, and I look forward to praying with you again in the next prayer. Until then, God bless and joy in Jesus.